Uh, but when I haven't got time to commit to a film, I got really, I've got really fucking addicted to watching actually porn stars. Not that kind, it's nothing to do with the wanking. The TV show Porn Stars. If you've not seen it, it's essentially a show that focuses on a shop in LA, and the closest thing we have to it in the UK is cash converters. <laughs> but I got addicted to watching it because nothing that happens in this shop would ever happen in the UK. Because imagine going into cash converters and being like, mate, I've got something to sell you. He's like, okay, what have you got for me, pal? You know, it's a fossilized dinosaur egg. He's going to get, that's where the conversation's going to end, because he's going to go, mate, come on, look around. I deal in electronics, ideally ones that can't be proven to be stolen. <laughs> but on porn stars, he goes, oh, I'm interested, but I don't know anything about it. I'll tell you what, I'll call in a guy that knows what he's talking about. If you have to do that every day in your job, <laughs> call in a guy to help you do your job, you might be in the wrong profession. <laughs> you wouldn't get it anywhere else. Imagine going to a prostitute and being like, all right. She goes, oh, I've seen something like this before. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do with it, though. I'll tell you what, I'll call a guy. <laughs> You're going to be out of there so fucking fast. <laughs> but the most prominent shop we've got in the high street that is like porn stars is CEX. And a lot of you might know that CEX is actually pronounced sex. And the reason for that is because their business model is heavily based around fucking the poor.